Hello, I'm Hope Edelman. I'm the author of Motherless Daughters and Motherless Mothers, Mothers. <laughs> and I'm a longtime supporter of Our House since 1997, the very first office in the Westwood area after Joanne's Kitchen. I also have led groups at schools because um, first and foremost, like many of the Our House volunteers, I also experienced a loss when I was young. I was 17 years old when my mother died of breast cancer and there were no grief support services available in my community in 1981. There wouldn't be for about another 15 years. So it's been my great honor to be able to offer some of these services to children through Our House and to women through my own work and also to men and women in my next book, The After Grief, which is coming out in October. It's going to be my eighth book because I went on to become a writer. So I'm gonna talk with you just a little bit about how the writing process can help us process our grief. Mainly it's because it is a method for externalizing those emotions. And um, we can talk about grief, we can express it through bodily movement and physical exercise. We can let it move through us through artistic expression, like dance or painting, and writing would also fall into that category. But the work of James Pennebaker and others who followed him has shown that the writing process itself is not a healing endeavor. In other words, if we just vent our emotions on the page, it doesn't necessarily help us that much. In fact, we may even feel worse and be worse off after we're done. It also doesn't help that much to just write a blow by blow account of what happened to us. Uh, you know, it's sort of like a factual episodic um, piece of writing. That's not particularly helpful either, but what does appear to be helpful, and when I say helpful, I mean helps the writer feel better, but also has positive somatic responses later, like for example, go to the doctor less often, um, is when we write about what we think about what we feel and how we feel about what we think. So when we take the episodic part and the emotional part and marry them together in journal entries or in memoir writing, which is what I teach, I help people tell their stories, often their stories of loss, it appears to be very beneficial to the author. Uh, emotionally, psycholo psychologically, and I believe spiritually, because I think writing is an act of faith. We are taking an idea from our head and we're making it into something tangible that we can share with others. It requires courage, it requires perseverance, and it does, I believe, require faith. So I am a big advocate of writing down our stories, whether it's just for our own purposes or to share with others. And I'm a huge, huge advocate of bringing the social component back into grief where we share our stories with others, others as um, participants in the Our House support groups do. Thank you.